Okay, so the first card that you've got is uh, the fair or grey, fair-haired man or grey-haired man that you're dealing with. Uh, there seems to be a breakup of a relationship with this person. You've got this broken teacup over there and um, this card says mistake. So maybe this breakup has been due to some kind of problem that was a mistake or something that's happened that you didn't mean to happen. And it seems like uh, there may have been a relationship that has come to a close with this person. Either that or this person is going to feature some very, very heavily in your life soon. Uh, and it's to do with some kind of issue, some kind of problem that you're facing. Whatever's happened, uh, you know, there's been a, a breakup of that relationship or there's been something um, that has happened um, that you were not really anticipating. So something's happened by mistake and this person seems to be featuring quite um, uh, importantly in that situation. There's a big change that is coming as well. You can see these autumn leaves falling away um, and making, you know, it will make way for something new. So you're ending a situation, some kind of cycle coming to a close over there for you. So big changes are on the horizon for you, a new beginning. So you're getting rid of the old at the moment. Maybe it's this relationship that has come to an end and it's coming to a close and this is the reason why big change is coming in for you. So you have been dealing with a lot of jealous people going on around you and people uh, presenting a lot of obstacles for you. You've got this brown haired woman. She's got a hand raised over there, as you can see. So she's been somehow uh, involved in preventing you from moving forward. Uh, and you've, maybe this is the person that has been very jealous of you, pretending to be what they aren't. You can see this person wearing a mask, but underneath the mask, they look really nasty. And it might be this woman here. Uh, because she's got a hand up as well. So somebody preventing you from moving forward and it's all based on jealousy and they may have been pretending to be a friend of yours and really they are not. They might have been instigating a lot of things there. Now going into the future, there is a victory there. So something to celebrate coming in for you. Um, you know, um, maybe you will sort through all these problems that you're going through and there is that celebration coming in over there. Um, there is still somebody around you, a brown haired man that's preventing you from moving forward. It looks like an older person uh, and, uh, you know, they might prevent, be preventing you from progressing as far as career goes or preventing something uh, uh, maybe even a relationship uh, from proceeding forward, but they're certainly standing in your way over there, um, you know, standing in front of the door, so preventing you from even moving forward. Somebody's keeping you a little stuck over there. So, um, you know, this person, uh, you might need to find alternative means uh, to sort them out. But whatever situation you're dealing with, there is victory coming in over there. So you will be able to sort things through, even though this person seems to be standing a little bit in your way. It looks like you will sort things through. Now, those are the energies for that week. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Four of Cups over there. You've got uh, the Two of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and um, you've got the Empress card over here. So, uh, the Page of Swords generally is somebody who is causing a lot of problems. So, you could be dealing with somebody who is instigating a lot, behaving very, very childishly, um, and, you know, taking, carrying tales, that kind of person who, um, you, know, you tell them one thing and they go and they uh, overinflate it or add their own um, take on it and they turn it into something really nasty. So you are dealing with somebody who's very childish, somebody who is causing a lot of problems, somebody who is, um, you know, carrying a lot of tales or really instigating a lot of uh, things. So, you know, they're just doing it for the heck of it. You've got the Empress card over here. So you have been working very, very hard, um, you know, at whatever you're doing. You're trying to, um, you know, improve your financial status over here. Um, and, you know, you're very, very hands-on. You're working pretty hard in the, at this job, um, you know, go, working down at grassroots. Now, this is a new beginning because you've got that new moon over there. So whatever you're working at, as far as your work goes, it may be something, a project that you've just started on, um, uh, but you're pretty much in the throes of it. You're working very, very hard. Um, and money is slowly coming in. The Empress does accumulate money. And you are improving your financial status. But it's a lot of hard work. You can see she's got no shoes there. So this is, you know, about working, uh, putting all your effort into it. And, uh, you know, pretty much you, you pretty much have your finger in every part of this project that you're doing. So, um, you know, and you're, you're working... Uh, you can see her feet in the ground over there, so uh, pretty hands-on at whatever it is you're doing. You've got the Seven of Cups over here. You're trying to make a choice. For, of, uh, you know, you're a bit confused about what you want to do next, uh, and you're trying to decide 
um, and you're looking to a, a whole um, host of things that you want to do. There's that element of confusion that comes in with that Seven of Cups and also that element of procrastination. So you've got a lot of ideas in your head, but you haven't quite put them into action just yet. There's a choice coming up for you there as well. <coughs> now the Two of Wands is about whether or not you want to stay in this particular job that you're doing or you want to move on with that Two of Wands. So you might be thinking of actually leaving it and maybe even traveling. Uh, you could be even thinking about accepting a partnership or going into partnership with somebody as well. Uh, there's certainly some kind of big choice. You're at a crossroads somehow in your life. There might be even a choice about traveling overseas because you can see in the distance there's water there. So you might be thinking about going overseas to do uh, this job that you're doing. So you're, you're looking into a lot of options uh, and you have to make some kind of big decision over there. There is an offer that's coming in for you over there with that Four of Cups. So something coming in over there. But as you can see, this man's looking at all these maps, um, you know, and there's lots of cups behind him as well. You need to do your research as to whether or not you want to accept this particular offer. I say it's overseas because this cup is on a globe here. So this might be about traveling overseas, uh, an overseas job offer that comes in. Certainly with the Two of Wands, this is about... Uh, leaving behind an old uh, job situation and moving on to something overseas and with this four of cups it says you know make sure that you are doing your research pretty carefully if you're going to be accepting this job overseas but there's some kind of offer that comes in as far as the work front goes okay and this might be even about relocating homes with that new cup so starting off afresh somewhere else now what's going on with you? You've got the Nine of Wands over there and the Eight of Wands. So this is about hanging in there. Uh, you know, you will be able to sort things out. You just need to be uh, a bit resilient. Um, and again, a choice coming in the background over there. And you do have to think about the situation pretty carefully since he's wearing this cap with a feather on it. In, it you know, shows that you may have to really give it some careful consideration before you decide uh, what you want to do. It's almost like, you know, you need to line up all your options. You need to do a pros and cons list over there uh, and decide what you want to do. So um, look at the advantages of going or the advantages of staying and then make your mind up. So you need to be a, a little more um, organized. As it was well here, you can see these uh, rods are really up in the air, but they're so you want to travel, but you, there's a lot of confusion. It doesn't seem like they're going in any particular direction. Um, and there's some kind of pressure coming in as well. So you may need to make a decision pretty quickly. With this horse there, it is about travel. It's about flying. It's about going overseas. Uh, communications are coming in. Uh, and it looks like there might be two jobs to consider over here. So maybe about staying or going. The pressure's on over there. Um, and you just need to start getting yourself organized uh, it seems like maybe you haven't done that. So like I said, you, you know, you're, you're, there's a lot of confusion going on over here or you're not quite sure what you want to do right now. Um, it seems like uh, there seems to be some kind of deadline that you have to meet. Uh, you're trying to communicate with a lot of people as well, but you need to get yourself organized. And like I said, do a pros and cons list. Decide whether or not it's worth your while going or whether it's going to pay off, um, you know, um, because there seems to be a lot of confusion that is going on. You still, um, you haven't made up your mind quite just yet. You've got the Queen of Cups here. So you've gone through some kind of very, very difficult situation. You've been very depressed about things. It seems like you're single at the moment, uh, you know, and then this might have been a breakup of a relationship. There's certainly some kind of legal breakup that came in over here with the Knight of Swords. There was some kind of legal news that you heard or some kind of legal decision there. It might have even been a legal decision at work, but something has come in that has upset you quite a bit. And this has probably made you very, very un unhappy. And maybe this is the reason why you want to go and start afresh somewhere else. It might be to work, to do with work. Because you've got that sun in the background of that usually signifies work. So some kind of um, something may have happened at work. There may have been a crisis and you may have had to end uh, cut ties or you may have had to end uh, your job situation. And maybe this is why you want to leave or you're trying to end it and you're trying to move on. Um, but you're still not quite sure what you want to do. And there seems to be two options that have come in for you. Maybe two job offers coming in. It seems to be, you know, wherever you are at, there's a lot of problems as well. There's a lot of cats around this man. 
and you're very confused you're not quite sure what to choose and this is about overseas travel as well so uh, you're going through a little bit of a, a crisis at the moment you got the six of swords over here you're thinking of leaving and moving away from the situation uh and it, like i said with the six of swords it's about maybe overseas travel so you're probably thinking of leaving this job and moving um, maybe this new offer is coming maybe you're thinking of leaving uh, accepting this new offer that's coming from an overseas front or a new offer will come in on the overseas front and you do you know you need to make some kind of decision but like i said you do need to to uh, do your research quite carefully before you make big moves you got the three of swords over here so uh, there might have been a problem or there may have been a problem on the work front there are people um pretty much against you there uh you know uh causing a lot of heartbreak there with that three of swords uh difficulty in communication and there may be uh people that are you know, almost stabbing you in the back there with that three of swords uh so you are dealing with three difficult people over there uh and you're going through problems so there's some kind of there could even be some kind of legal issue that you're embroiled in at the moment and you're trying to sort that out but there are some kind of problems and so it's you know this is usually indicates a third party situation three people crossing swords over there uh showing that um you know um you are having problems with these people and they seem to be uh, causing a lot of they're making you very, very uncomfortable. A lot of conflict is going on over there. And you can't seem to clear that conflict out as well. You've got the Ten of Swords coming up for you. So it seems like, uh, you know, you are ending the situation. Uh, and it was, there was a lot of conflict in it. It looks like a legal ending as well because of the Swords cards over there. Um, and it looks like you might actually just leave it and move on so you could be leaving you could have just left this job and you're in the position where you're trying to pick yourself up from having gone through such a difficult situation or you could be coming out of some kind of legal uh, battle at the moment uh, it may not have gone in your favor with this ten of swords and uh, you know you need to pick yourself out of it and move on it's a new sun rising over there you've got to make a new a fresh start over here so you know you feel as though uh, you know you've been very victimized and you also feel very defeated with this Ten of Swords. It's really, um, you know, a very nasty card because it's got so much of conflict, so many swords, so much of problems that you had to deal with. And you've got the Nine of Swords. So you're still very stressed out. You're feeling very vulnerable at the moment. You can see all these armies on the floor over there. A lot of communication coming in. So there could be a lot of legal news coming in over here. And this is causing a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety over here. I know Aquarius is the air sign, but there's, uh, you know, a lot of... Uh, you know, nine of swords, ten of swords, three of swords, a lot of problems that you've been dealing with. So you could be going through a lot of legal problems, but you could also be dealing with a lot of difficult people as well. Um, usually the sword signifies communication and difficulties in communication and legal problems. Right now you're feeling pretty stuck. Uh, you know, you feel like you've made a lot of sacrifices, the card of sacrifice. But things seem very, very upside down over here. Your whole world seems to have been turned upside down. So you're going through quite a crisis here, it seems. <coughs> and maybe that's why you just want, you know, this offer comes in. It might be that you just accept it and move on. So what's coming in for you? Page of Swords, a Page of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Sun. So this is uh, a reprise from all of these problems that you've been through. Page of Wands, good news coming in. You can see everything's on fire here at the bottom here. And you'll be able to move on. So you're going to accept a new job, possibly overseas with this page of wands. And it's going to be good news. So, uh, you know, you'll be able to leave whatever's been going on over here and move on. The four of wands, a much more stable situation, maybe going to partnership with somebody here as well. But it's going to be something that you it's worth celebrating. You can see a lot of roses falling out here. So it's something really good coming in over here. It's a chance for you to lay down foundations, but also a chance for you to be very successful as well. Um, you know, a much more stable job situation as well. And a celebration, really. Uh, and the sun, this is the most magnificent card in the deck. So, uh, you know, something coming in. It's going to bring in a lot of money. You can see this man's really well-dressed. Uh, the job involves a lot of intellectual work, but it also gives you a lot of renown, uh, a lot of recognition for what you do. And this could be a job overseas because the sun card also talks about overseas travel as well. The wands card's also about overseas travel. And this page of wands bringing in news from overseas as well. So whatever you're going to start, it looks like you're going to 
leave this old situation behind and you know travel possibly overseas and start a new job there because you've been going through a lot like i said maybe you've had to end legal contracts here because there was so much of conflict that you're going on maybe right now you're just waiting for news to come in and it's going to be good news because it's going to allow you to move the sun card is about um you know fame money success coming in over there and there's also stability coming in over here this four of wands also shows that there might be a new home that you start you know you start afresh and you buy a new home as well uh with that four of wands um so this is some good news coming in for you so just wait it out a little longer it looks like things are about to change for the better there for you so i'm just going to draw some cards from the wolf pack for the uh, part of the oracle read Okay, so the first card is gifts, and we're going to the Christmas period. So someone may offer you nourishment spiritual, spiritually or emotionally, a time to receive gifts or legacies, a time to develop talents, could indicate a time in your life to learn how to receive, uh, be it friendship, money, or kind words. So somebody's bringing you either good news, or there could be gifts because it's the Christmas period, but something really good coming your way and somebody's going to bring that to you. So something, maybe they even offer you a new job to get you out of the situation. Something good coming your way there. You can see this wolf is carrying a rose in his mouth. So it looks like there's some really important news coming your way and it's going to be really good news as well. You've got the Innocence card over here, a time when you are now open to new ideas and an opportunity to build a new life. May indicate a move, finding a child within and time to play. Uh, don't think take things too seriously so with the feather news is coming in and it's going to be good news uh it also looks like you're going to be starting a fresh overseas so making a fresh start overseas or even in a new position so you're certainly uh going to make a fresh start somewhere else uh now you've got the past card over here so it says you will find yourself dealing with issues from the past such as family friends money or um, or feelings, lawsuits, paper, or help. Uh, no time to avoid, uh, deal with these issues and move on. So you're going to have to sort things out first. And since we're getting into that Christmas period, usually this is the time to sort out, uh, you know, old problems and start the, f the new year afresh somewhere else. So you're going to have to deal with all these issues, um, get them sorted out uh, first. And it looks like you're going to make a fresh start somewhere else. So this is, Innocence card is like the full card making brand new start somewhere else. And with all the rest of the cards in the spread, it looks like, um, you know, you're going to make a, bre a fresh start overseas. So something brand new. You're, you know, cutting ties with this old life. The cycle is ended. Uh, you know, it was a very, very difficult cycle that you went through. Possibly the last 10 years been very, very difficult. Uh, and it looks like you're going to start um, a fresh um, somewhere else. Uh, you know, you're laying everything down to rest and moving on. So this is the fairy tarot for the Oracle read. And the first card is the six of autumn. Uh... The good you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of money and borrowing wisely or repaying a debt. So money coming in for you over there. Now this new job offer, it seems, is going to be very, very good. Uh, you know, it will bring in the money there. And they will be quite generous in whatever they offer to pay you. It could be that or you could be receiving some kind of uh, legacy. You could be, you know, getting uh, gifts of money over the Christmas period as well. That could well be the case. The Empress card over here, it's the time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. So whatever this new job is, Empress card is ruled by Venus. So whatever this new job is, it's going to bring in a lot of success and a lot of wealth. So it's going to be a very, very good paying job as well. And there's travel coming. So you're ending this old cycle with a world card, a brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction. A journey is now complete. So you're ending an, an old cycle. You've got two cards of ending there, the Ten of si uh, Swords and the World card. And whatever it is, you're going to be starting afresh um, somewhere else. The World card also talking about international travel. So it looks like you might actually pick up and move on and start a new job uh, in the new year in a new country. Uh, but certainly away from where you have been working and you know it looks like that old job is now coming to a close with that world card it's something coming to a close but saturn signifying uh you know work and uh, the world card is ruled by saturn so the ending of an old job and starting something brand new so this could be about breaking contracts and moving on because there was so much of conflict and it could be something overseas as well but there's a lot of success coming in as well with that sun card so something really good coming in for you there uh so uh you know don't give up hope it, it looks like things are about to turn for the better for you